Hi, I'm Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, uh, back for an update here on our compost bin. Um, today looks to be bucket day, uh, which we've done a few times now. But as you can tell beside me, we're getting pretty full. Um, it filled up a little faster than I thought it would. Uh, we'll have to do some reading on what's normal, say. I think we, we read that kind of the speed of our buckets were going were normal, so I guess this is normal for this thing filling up. I thought it was going to take a little longer but I filled up pretty quick um, we've been out here for about five months I think we've been using this for about four uh, I might be able to do one more set of buckets into here you know we've got our humidor and our uh, kitchen scraps and things I think we do a total of it might be eight buckets it's either six or eight that we toss in here so it it, it takes a good bit of space when when you do that so I'm not sure if I have enough room for today's uh, deposit let's say so um, it's time to expand uh, ultimately I would like to do what's called you know especially in the book I've mentioned the the humanor book before uh, the humanor hacienda uh, which is kind of a, a structure you know with uh, several bays for the for the composting and a bay for your cover material in our case straw that would have a roof over it so it doesn't get too wet I would like to do that eventually, but we don't know for sure whether this will be our final kind of spot for that. So for now, this one I just threw up quick so that we could use it. And for now, I'm just going to expand right next to it. Here's some of the straw that we've got for our cover material. There's enough empty space right here that I'm just going to put a second one. I'm just going to build it right up against this. And that way I've got a one wall already. I've got a pretty solid structure. So I just want to throw two, two walls, two pallets for walls maybe a third. On this last one, I did kind of boards and built it up as I went. I thought that would be a bigger deal as far as accessing it as you're putting buckets in when it was lower. It really wasn't all that big a deal. I don't think you really need like a door or anything like that. Um, so I may just go pallets all around. So in this case, I could do three pallets and use this fourth pallet as my fourth wall. So I think that's all I'm going to try and do today just to get us ready. And again, I might be able to fit it all in this old one, but if I can't, I want to be ready with the next one. Um, as far as how this one's been doing, I've got a thermometer in there. Right now it's hovering around 100, um, which is in between kind of the warm and the active uh, zones, I guess. Um, we're reading up right now, actually, whether that's kind of normal. It, it, does, it does seem to be cooking down. You can tell that it sinks each time. So I think it's doing its job. Um, not a lot of bugs. We haven't noticed bugs or smell or anything, so that's good. A little bit of ants, but I think that might be normal out here. So, uh, but, but not like a ton of gnats or flies or there's no smell. I'm right here right now, no big deal. Uh, we're at about 100 degrees. I have noticed uh, sometimes when it gets a little wet. So we thought maybe the problem, it was getting dry. It was, it was the temperature was going down sometimes. Um, so we did add a little bit of water to it from time to time. We've actually had some rain recently. Um, I think moisture is a part of that temperature staying where it should. Um, but also I think maybe it just, it just gets hotter when you add fresh compost uh, because the temperature does seem to jump each time we add buckets, probably to around the 120 range. Um, I think as high as we've been is maybe 125. Um, but I'm reading to make sure it's, it's, it's all correct. Uh, but like I said, it is cooking down. Um, so today we're definitely going to fill this bin if not move to a second bin. And then what we'll do is basically just leave this. Um, I can't remember whether we're supposed to leave it uncovered or covered, but, um, and let it cook down for anywhere from six months to a year. The idea is it's supposed to cook down to about half its size. So you want to get it really full because it is going to cook down to about half its size before it's usable, uh, you know, mulch or, or fertilizer. So, that's what we're doing today. I'm just going to go grab some pallets that hopefully I've got stuff here that works. We haven't gone actively seeking pallets all that much yet. We've got a few from, from just neighbors having them laying around on their properties and a couple of deliveries that we've got. So I'm going to go see if I've got some usable pallets that'll fit this. You can tell this isn't perfect. I didn't get all exactly sized pallets and everything. So um, it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, I'll put a little more work into the humanor hacienda when we find that final spot that we want. Um, so for now, it just needs to be functional. So 
nothing fancy. So I'm gonna go look for some pallets. I've got all the tools I need other than that, which is a pair of gloves and some zip ties. That's about all I use to put this thing together and some sunglasses. So let's go find some pallets. All right, so I think I found a couple of usable pallets. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of this straw here. I'm just gonna move it around the back. This is the space I'm gonna use. I'm gonna build right off of this wall. So I've got one already in a pretty stable structure. I'm just gonna build three more walls around with pallets. Um, and uh, if you saw the other video, the first thing you wanna do in one of these is kind of dig a bowl at the bottom, kind of for liquid to collect if necessary. You are gonna fill that all in with, with cover material, the straw. Um, and I'll build up some, some straw around the sides kind of to start a, let's see, a barrier uh, around the edge of that new uh, bin. So here it goes, let's clean out the space and set up some pallets.
Okay, so there's bin number two, pun intended, completed. Um, hopefully I can edit that down a good bit. It took me a little while to get that right. I kind of changed my minds on which way to stand the pallets a couple of times, so I kind of did it and redid it. But uh, here's a look. So obviously this is our full one. I'm gonna put as much as I can in there today. Again, I wanna get it as full as possible, even kind of overflowing because it does cook down to half its size. So you wanna get it really full before you move on to the next one because it'll be done. We won't use it anymore until it cooks. Um, but here's, here's the new one set up. Like I said, I just built off the existing. I didn't give a door or anything. I don't think I need it based on what learned using the last one. Um, so there it is. I've got kind of a bowl dug out in the bottom. I will put some loose uh, covered material straw in there and probably throw some what they call chips of the straw bale, just kind of a, a slice of the straw bale basically around the edges to get it started. And then we'll do our bucket dump. I'll, again, I'll throw as much as I can in there. And if I can't fit it all in there, then that's what this one's here for to start number two. Talk to you later. Okay, here we are with a base layer of cover material straw in here. I hope I'm getting it because I really can't see anything on the camera because of the sun, but um, there it is. Let me go around. So I haven't piled it up too high yet. I'll wait and see kind of how much is left to put in there, if any, because like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw buckets in here first. Hopefully I can fit them all in here, but we'll see. I'll uh, give you a shot after uh, the dump. I'll spare you the bucket pour, but uh, I'll show you what it looks like after. Okay, so finished product. Uh, we've dumped our next set of buckets. I think it was a total of eight, um, including the house scraps. So um, I've got bin number two totally empty, but ready to go. Bin number one, I think we're calling it done. Um, there's a bunch of cover material on there. Of course, I had to take the thermometer out temporarily to do all that. But I mean, I just put it back in and it is, it is already rising. You can almost watch it rise. It's uh, going on about 90 now. My guess is over the next several hours, it'll jump up into the probably that 120 mark, I think, which is usually what happens after we put a fresh uh, bucket full in. Uh, and it'll cook that way for a little while. And then we'll just call this done for quite a while and we'll move on to this one. Um, I guess, I think we emptied probably a total of like four times. I think we averaged maybe once a month or so. Um, I'd have to go back and look, but, uh, I think that's about four times of six to eight buckets that filled that whole bin, uh, took roughly, I think about four months. Like I said, I think we've been out here about five, but I don't think we got this started till probably about a month in. So I think about four months, um, filled up this. So hopefully that means we'll have another four months here. And in four months, this, I'm not sure how far it'll get. And I've got to consult the book again about how you know this is actually kind of ready and usable, but it will cook down to about half its size. So, I mean, it's gonna go down quite a bit, I think. That's the idea. We'll just have to keep that temperature kind of where we want it. And again, I don't know if we need to play with moisture content or what. Um, that's not as hard now with a little bit of rain, but when the rain stops, uh, moisture can become a problem or lack of moisture. So we'll watch those things. We'll read a little bit more. Um, feel free to consult the Human or Handbook or Joe Jenkins information. He's all over YouTube and everything, but uh, tells you kind of how to do this stuff and what to do if something doesn't seem right. The, the most basic answer is if something doesn't seem right, if you get smell, if you get bugs, if, you, if it doesn't cook down, basically if it's not working right, you're doing something wrong. It's, it's not that it doesn't work, it's that you're doing something wrong. And, from what I recall, the most common thing is is more covered material, more covered material. As people say, you know, either they've got a smell or bugs, either on their pile or actually in the toilet. Um, usually the answer is you're not using enough covered material. You think you are, but you're not. So basically the rule is you can't use too much. Um, the only drawback of using too much is it'll fill up faster than you want, but it won't make it not work. Uh, but not using enough will make it not work. So. That's the general rule. Um, I think I'm done here for now. I've got a pretty solid uh, second one ready to go here. It wobbles a tiny bit, but it's pretty firm. Attached to that first one, and that first one being full will kind of make it more 
stable as well. I actually threw a little bit of, uh, you can't see it because I put some straw on top, but I used a couple of bags of shredded paper as well, just home shredded paper. Thanks Craig and Nikki and David for uh, providing that. So there's a little bit of that in there too. It works just as well, I think, as the straw, but I threw some straw over the top. So, but that allows, allows me to use a little less um, of the straw. And I'll need to get some more straw, but I don't wanna to get too far ahead of myself because so there's the straw I've got left. Uh, just a couple of chips, two, maybe three. Um, but I don't want to get too much because we are getting rain now and that really should be covered up, which is kind of the point of the humanor hacienda that I'll hopefully get to eventually when we uh, decide kind of some more permanent placements of things. But for now, this should do the trick. And that's all for now. Thanks. <laughs>